G'day my friends, Marty Weir here from Marty's Garden, your happy worm farmer. Well today I've got a really cool video for you. I'm going to show you around my worm farm windrow where I'm farming huge night crawlers. Man, they're getting big. So why do I have a windrow worm farm? Well this is where I breed and feed a variety of compost worms with African night crawlers growing to a huge size. Yep, the night crawlers, they smash through this material and are voracious eaters. This windrow is where I make my compost to sell to the locals. It's really popular and the plants that it grows is exceptional to say the least. And often I get a visit from Mr. Pie, the one-eyed magpie and the family because they love getting some worms and occasionally I give them one. Me and Mr. Pie are pretty good mates because he came to me just after he had an accident and had a really gammy eye. And he came good. So what type of worms do I have in my windrow? Well, I have mostly night crawlers, which are the European and the Africans, and I have tigers. Now, the night crawlers move through, up and down and through the deep parts of the profile, and the tigers seem to feed more on top so I get the material worked over quite quickly. I live in a subtropical climate so I can keep both types of night crawlers but one usually does better than the other depending on the season so the African night crawlers do really well in the warmer months and the Euros do great in the winter time. Check this out guys when I hit the side of the pile with the fork and have a look at the numbers just below the surface hanging on the edge of the windrow. Most of these that you're looking at here are giant night crawlers working through my compost and making my life much easier. Every day I'm learning by watching and observing these guys and just seeing what they're up to. And if you look closely, you'll see cocoons all through the profile. Most of the time it's covered with a recycled shade cloth and this keeps the material nice and dark, locks in the moisture and helps it from drying out from the wind. It also makes it look much tidier because I have mine out in the street where the boat used to be. At one end of the windrow I have giant worm farms which I call the biggest worm farms ever and this is where I keep my stocks so I don't run out of worms. They do quite well in these big worm farms and you can see just how fat and healthy this one is here. At the far end where I start my compost, this is where mostly the tiger worms are hanging out. They're feeding on sort of that rotting, decaying material hanging in the top layers. And about every two or three days, I come and turn it over. You can see they really like getting into the coffee cardboard. There's a mixture of cocoa peat and some different manures and things in here. And they really do thrive in this end of the row. The night crawlers also really like this carbon fibrous material and you often see them hanging out feeding on the edge of it. Now that's a pretty big compost worm, right? Now have you ever seen one bigger than that? Let me know if you have down in the comments box down below. I reckon these guys are like goldfish. The more room they have to grow, the bigger they get. And maybe they just get a bit more time to live in a space like this before they end up getting harvested and out in someone's garden. This material looks pretty good to me and I'm consistently finding worms on the edge of the cardboard. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing here. I think by the time spring comes, I'm gonna have lots and lots of baby worms and they're gonna chew through that compost and I'll have more product to sell for the customers. Now before you go, don't forget to subscribe and check out the rest of the videos on my channel and the links here if you wanna learn more about worm farming. There's heaps more for you to devour. Have a great day, happy worm farming, and we'll see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now.